Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, it's wonderful that you could join me today. It's very rainy here in Lancashire. There's no sign of summer at all. So I thought I'd use the time to catch up on a couple of sightings. And the one I'm going to bring to you today is from the New Malden area of London. And the gentleman described what he saw as the green man face. And this happened in 2007. So not far from Wimbledon Common, and close to the Beverly Brook, which connects to the Thames, is a small train station used by many people who commute to and from London on a daily basis. And thanks to Michael Appleby, who came across this article in the Green Man blog, that mentioned this account from July 2010, and it was in the edition of the 14 Times, and it, the gentleman's name was Mr Nick Skirton, and he's from London. And this is what he had to say. One summer afternoon in 2007, I was returning from central London and my train had spent a few too many minutes idling at the platform in New Malden Station. I was lost in thought and I'd been looking out the window at nothing in particular when I suddenly saw something that made me gasp out loud. At the far end of the London bound platform, is a thick bank of trees and shrubs behind a fence. And I was astonished to see what appeared to be an enormous face made up of the surrounding foliage. It was looming out at the opposite platform and looking very similar to the typical appearance of the green man that's seen in many church carvings. The face was about five feet in diameter and about seven feet or so from the ground. I was just looking at it. I was amazed how perfect the face seemed to be. Though at the same time, I thought it was just my brain demonstrating its knack for face recognition in random patterns, paradoxically, so to speak. I probably gazed in wonder for 20 odd seconds before the most shocking thing happened. Suddenly, and with tremendous velocity, the entire face withdrew backwards into the vegetation, which made the bushes move. It caused the surrounding bushes and trees to sway violently. Most strikingly of all, a branch that must have been under the face swung upwards with immense force as if a huge weight had been lifted from it before smacking into the surrounding greenery and I suppose reassuming its original position. The whole motion took about a second and the face had completely disappeared. Now, I could accept that a fox or even a human might have been sitting on the branches and I couldn't see them and they jumped off, causing them to bounce back into position. But this would not easily account for the very distinct retraction of the face, as if it was wrenched backwards into a tunnel. The face in no way looked constructed or man-made and it seemed to consist of a natural though very utterly remarkable arrangement. The features of the thing were clear to see. And I was particularly struck by the grinning mouth and the staring eyes. Quite how the verdant visage was sucked backwards, I have no idea. I have often wondered how, or indeed why, anyone would have achieved this bizarre effect for a bored Southwest train passenger. The train drew away and I sat back in my chair, feeling strangely unnerved. On all of my subsequent journeys through the station, I have never seen anything like this before or since. Now, the blog author, luckily, managed to get in contact with Nick and he asked his permission to reproduce the letter and to see if there was anything else that he could add. And Nick commented that there was no one near me when I saw this weird thing, which is slightly frustrating. I was travelling back from town after doing some shopping. It was a very sunny day and I suppose the train had been waiting for a good two minutes before I noticed the face in the leaves. I hadn't been staring out of the window all of that time and it was just there. As I recall, the moment I looked at the bushes, I saw the face. I've always had a good look at the bank of trees whenever I pass through Malden Station on the train but it's always looked a rather standard bush and nothing else. It was, though, as if this terrific suction that seemed to be exerted on the face, as if it was wrenched back into the shrubbery that I found so inexplicable. 
The violence of the exit and the massive swaying of branches and foliage was quite spectacular and left me feeling really surprised and shocked. I only wish now that I'd got out of the train and gone to investigate the opposite platform, but alas, I didn't, so I'm left with the mystery of it all. Now, Mr. S uh, Skirton did actually draw a photograph, of, uh, a picture, sorry, of what he saw, and it, that's included in the video. Um, now, 99% of people are going to say that this is pareidolia. This is nothing more, nothing less than pareidolia. And I would agree if it wasn't for the bushes moving. Something caused the motion. Now, what that something is, I cannot say. And we all see faces in things, don't we? Trees, foliage, the sky, water. It's a natural thing for a human brain to try and make a face from the things that it sees. But this describes movement. It describes the limb lifting as if a weight had been lifted from it. It's very similar to other accounts where you, they describe seeing a face in the leaves and the face makes eye contact with them and then it redraws very quickly. So if anybody out there knows Mr Skirton or could put me in touch with Mr Skirton, I'd be really interested in finding him because I have a friend called Andy McGrath, as you all know, and he runs the blog Beast of Britain. And he actually uses this station himself on a daily basis. So it'd be wonderful if I could put them together and Andy would be able to ask uh, Mr Skirton a few more questions. Or if you yourself have used the New Malden area or the station itself and have had a strange experience, if you could get in contact, that would be lovely. Also, I would like to point out, uh, as Mr Albig had a look on the map last night for me, and he said it is instantly, you can see the corridor, and you can. Um, you just nip onto the Beverly Brook there off the train station, and, you know, you cross the Coon Brook, and you're on Wimbledon Common, and then you can decide which way you want to go from there, really, up to the Lee Valley or further down south. So it is a really good area and a very interesting account. Um... So if you're out there and you know anything about this account or you've had something similar happen to you, please get in touch with me um, and we'll see if we can work out what it was that you saw that day. So until next time, thank you very much for getting in touch and goodbye.